Now, listen, Bob, we all said even back in July, June, May, if we went three and one, we'd all be happy, right? We'd all be happy. You're right. I think a lot of us, if not all of us, would have taken three and one after four games. But when we go three and all and then uh, see the Pats lay an egg like they did Sunday against the Bills, it's a little hard to take. But nonetheless, three and one uh, puts them in good stead with you know who coming back this week. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be huge, and I think a huge lift. And was uh, it looks like the Pats were definitely playing conservative on the offensive side. Do you think that made the ultimate difference, or was it just that it came out flat? Yeah, I think a combination of, of all of the above. I think it was the offense trying to protect the young quarterback and really limit what you ask him to do against a defense they have a lot of respect for, and the defensive coach, Rex Wine, who's even posed problems in the past, as we know for Tom Brady. I think the defense played poorly. And I think special teams, which is usually a big advantage for the Patriots, set them up uh, in, in both cases to even become more conservative and put the defense in a tough spot. The early kick returns by Cyrus Jones uh, against the uh, advice of Matthew Slater back there for the Patriots on the first two drives mm. at the 9 and 14-yard lines, and that put them in a hole that they never really fully climbed out of. All right, we're on to Cleveland, um, 1 o'clock with Zoe and Mr. Sosi, and uh, TB12 is back. Any concerns, rustiness at all with him, Bob, do you think? I think you have to be somewhat concerned because he has been away for four weeks, although it was interesting to see some video that was sent out yesterday during the pass loss to the Bills. Uh, while they were playing against the Buffalo Bills, he was out throwing passes in uh, the Brookline Chestnut Hill area. So uh, he's gearing up to go. You know, He's a guy that has command of this offense. He's got a great relationship already with a number of the key parts, but how he meshes with Martellus Bennett and Chris Hogan no, that's going to be something we'll look for early on this week. But I, I, I would think that it may not be seamless, but it will be close to it, considering Brady's experience and just the work ethic he has. Here we go, Sunday. All right, Bob Sosie. Um, thanks, <laughs> th- thanks for the time. Good day at school for the kids. We'll uh, be listening Sunday. Thanks. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks so much. See you, Bob. Bye. Bye-bye.